to piggyback off of yesterday's social emotional learning about your strengths, recognizing what your strengths are as a person. And then we're going to link that to either Ashton or Derek from our shared reading novel, Better Than Perfect. You guys ready? At home peeps, if you know where you're supposed to go now, please give me a thumbs up in the chat. So you're going to go ahead and open up that first link, the poem and annotation under identifying my strengths. So our directions tell us to read the poem below at least two times. I'm going to read it out loud if you can track the text as I read it to you. If your annotation comes to you during the reading, then go ahead at the very bottom of the page for number two, write your annotation, thought, question, comment, or connection you make to the text right there, all right? I am strong by McKay Law. They always tell you what you can and cannot be. I never focused on them. I focused on me. Yes, maybe I like to read my books instead of party. And yes, maybe I don't look like what you find in a magazine. I might not have a small waist or a pretty face. I might not have a nice smile or eyes that sparkle. But what do I have? Integrity. I have the courage to stand up to someone who says I'm not good enough. I have the willpower to show someone that I am worth fighting for. And even though I have been left by people I love and pushed aside like an obstacle that is in your way, I still have the audacity to smile and show the world that I'm better than that. I am better than lowering myself down to the ways of society just so I can fit in. I am better than to tell you lies so you will still like me. I know that I don't need a pack of friends to feel like I'm worthy of being cared for. I do not need compliments thrown at me like I'm a flock of seagulls scrounging for that last piece of bread left in your hand. And I am certain that I can keep my tears choked back no matter what comes my way. I am certain that I am not loved widely, but I am loved deeply by the ones that matter most. I am strong. And that's by McKay Law. And so what you're doing here is typing your annotation. If you're at home, I would like you to copy and paste it into that chat box before you submit this. And if you're face-to-face -face with me in the classroom, please feel free to share your annotation out loud. Shane, I know you will. Well, I said, uh, just like the uh, uh, poem said, I don't need compliments to be said to me, because I already know what you know, people say. Like, I already know what they, they just said. You already know that about yourself, right? Yeah. So you're connecting to McKay, the author. You feel that same, share that same feeling. Good. Thank you. So you guys at home, if you couldn't hear him, Shane was sharing that, the line where the author's saying she doesn't need compliments, like, he agrees with that. He knows what his strengths are. He doesn't need someone to tell him. Thank you, Shane. Trey, what did you want to add? Uh, that she that she knows that she's not the perfect person or that she doesn't really compliments to feel good about herself so she uh, so she knows she's gonna be stronger with inside and not gonna come out with Nice. Trey is sharing that the author is strong on the inside. What else, Trey? Uh, that she wants to be happy about who she is as a person. Yeah, that she's happy about who she is now. I put in the chat box that my annotation is a question. Why does our society seem to discourage people from being their authentic selves? Life is more interesting when people are different. Zuri at home shared, I think the writer is saying that being smart is more important than most things in school, like friends and good looks. Chris, what do you think? What's your thought, question, comment? Remember, annotation can't be wrong. Annotation is a way that you're literally monitoring your thinking before, during, or after your reading, and your thinking can't be wrong. It's your thinking. What did you think about what she wrote? I have one sentence. What? I have one sentence. That's okay. All I heard was that she didn't want to go to a party, that she just wanted to read her book. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay, so what he picked up from the poem was that she doesn't want to go to a party, she wants to read her book. 
do you think she felt sad about not going to the party or comfortable just doing her own thing? Yeah. But she seems to be pretty comfortable doing her own thing. Thank you. So if you take a look at the second part of the assignment, it says identifying strengths at the top. And then it gives you a word wall. There are probably like 30 terms there. 30 different ways to describe strengths within people. So what I would like you to do at this time is you're going to highlight. You can choose any color. You can have 20 colors, whatever it is. Your form of reading on this is you're highlighting the strengths that describe you. Once you have your top three, and if you can't decide on just three, you can list more. See this link right here, you guys, in your Google Doc at the top that says Canvas Discussion Board? Make sure you type your top three in the reply box, but you're going to explain why you chose those three strengths. So, for example, one of my seniors in uh, fifth period, he's like, Ms. Gonzalez, I picked uh, planning ahead, but I don't know how to explain that. So I said, well, how do you plan ahead? You know, why do you plan ahead? And he said, because stuff gets messed up when I don't. And I was like, then that's exactly what you type. So once you hit um, post, look through the discussion board, find someone's response, and then you're going to literally annotate their response. Do I submit it? You're expressing your thought, a question, or a comment. So if you finished replying to somebody else in the discussion post, you're going to go to the last part. And this is where you're connecting your strengths to the protagonist of our shared reading novel. You do not have to do both. You can choose one, Ashton or Derek, but a lot of people today have talked about both of them. Derek or Ashton, which protagonist? You chose Derek. <coughs> Where's the love for Ashton? Did anybody pick Ashton? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you chose Ashton? All right, good. Both. Yeah, I did both also. You both, okay, you did both. All right, so what's one of, and Zuri, I'm coming back to you because I want to know. Zuri, type in the chat what the strengths are for Ashton. So Paisley, what did you choose as a strength for Ashton? Confidence. Confidence, okay, good. What did you choose for Ashton's right? Uh, inspiring. What baby? Inspiring. She's inspiring? Mm -hmm. Why is she inspiring? What made you say that? Oh, no, it's just, I can kind of relate to her a little bit. So. You can relate to it? Yeah. What about her as a character is inspiring to you? Mm -hmm. Just the way she deals with her problem and situation in the book is just very inspiring to me. The way she deals with her problems? Mm -hmm. Yep. Anybody else? Thank you guys for sharing. Anybody else choose Ashton? Okay. So, uh, Zuri, what strengths did you choose for Derek? You said humor, confidence, and flexibility. 
Victoria, what did you say for Derek again? I'm comparing uh, yours to Zuri's. Courage, uh, social, uh, social, uh, courage, what else? Courage, uh, skills, and humor. Humor. Zuri said Derek, he said humor, confidence, and flexible. Why did we do this? What was the whole point of doing this? To show people strength. Sorry. Okay. Say that again. Show You looked at your strengths, right? Yup. And then, what did you? Who did you connect them with? Everybody else's. Or no, uh, Ashton and Derek. Well, you looked at everybody else's in all of our classes, right? And then Ashton and Derek. So I really appreciate you sharing and being vulnerable.